Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today, heavy hails go out to Corpse Gristle Records for sending this bad boy over. And I'm talking about Flesh Grind demo days. We have the Holy Pedophile demo, as well as Sorrow Breeds Hatred Bleed on Me. Fucking A. Also, heavy, heavy hails to Burning Dogma Records. Also, like I was saying, Corpse Gristle. And rest in peace to Rich Lipscomb. This is some absolutely brutal, sick as fuck death the brutal way. What do I mean by death the brutal way? I mean, come on, the first demo is called Holy Pedophile. Yeah, we're getting into some fucking gnarly, gore-riddled blasphemy. Now, that's a sickening title, but again, we're dealing with brutality here. So, when it comes to brutal death metal, I mean, Corpse Gristle is just killing it when it comes to the reissues, in my opinion. Like, you know, going from, like, Broken Hope to Devourment to fucking Infernal Domination to goddamn Flesh Rot to fucking, uh, Deaden. There's so much gnarly shit. Disgorge Mexico, like... Corpse Gristle Records is another label in 2021 that's on fucking fire, in my opinion. And that's not just because I'm a massive fan of brutal death metal, especially Flesh Grind. Like, when I saw that these got reissued, I was like, no way. Like, I just figured it was the full length, and they did reissue the full length. But when I saw that it was the demos, I was like, no way, like, they have Holy Pedophile on cassette. And yup, it sounds fan-fucking-tastic, too. And, yeah, it, I mean, come on. You have tracks like Ejaculate on Entrails, Anger, Holy Pedophile, Two-Face, Grind the Flesh. White Demon, Come On My Stumps, a very family-friendly song. The Weak and Sorrow Breeds Hatred, Bleed On Me. These two demos are seriously fucking sickening, brutal, and blasphemous as fuck. Like, lyrically, it's like if Profanatica played brutal death metal. I mean, kind of, based on, I mean, some of the titles, like Holy Pedophile, definitely sounds like something that would have fell out of Paul Ledney's, you know, brain, but listen to this, man, it puts a smile on my face. <laughs>
Pretty much. What is there to say? Not only is this a slab of brutal death metal fire, it's a nice look into the past of flesh grind. And it's a bummer that we lost Rich and stuff, but like, definitely, like, you gotta check this out. Like, seriously. Even if you've never heard Flesh Grind, I would start with the demo days release. This is available on CD and cassette. It's just fucking ridiculous, in my opinion, how absolutely heavy and foul this is. It's great. And you just gotta love brutal death metal that just, you know, doesn't really... Like, I, I can tell this isn't from, like, New York. You know what I mean? If that makes any sense at all, like, it has that, like, just vibe to it. Like, it's just fucking brutal. Like, very Midwest. Like, I'm pretty sure these guys hail from, like, Illinois, but again, I'm kind of drawing a blank right now off the top of my head. Duh, let's just look at... Alright, they were... Okay, so... Holy Pedophile was recorded in Illinois. So, I was right there, but... I mean, that's where it was produced, mixed, and engineered by Brian Griffin at Wave Digital in Gurney, Illinois. Alright. That's sick. But yeah, Flesh Grind is rad. And if you've never heard them before, I mean, this is... Again, listen how fucking over-the-top gross this is. But that's what you get with brutal death metal. So, like, don't be unexpected when you hear stuff like this. It's meant to be like, oh man, like, that's brutal. It's meant to be like that. If that offends you, I'm sorry. But, you know, maybe death. Maybe this isn't for you if you find that offensive. spoil this bad boy for you folks that was the uh, holy pedophile demo on the a side and on the b side you have the sorrow breeds hatred bleed on me demo and that's i just think this is such a nice little demo compilation it gets your beak wet if you're new to Flesh Grind and, you know, if I were you, I would try and grab this and the full length that Corpse Gristle reissued because they're both, like, they're both great purchases. You're picking up killer fucking brutal death metal. Highly, highly recommended band right here. Flesh Grind. This is Demo Days. Corpse Gristle Records and Burning Dogma Records put this back out to the world. And it's one of those things, like when it comes to reissues, Corpse Gristle is killing it. And here's one I've been putting off, just like I've been putting off the uh, Snent full length. And like I, I mentioned earlier, Infernal Dominion. Like, holy fuck. This right here is a beast of Texas death metal and blasphemy. And this is going to, we're going to go over this, but this was like kind of the grandfather of that corpse gristle package. Like, as soon as I saw this, I was like, no fucking way. Salvation through infinite suffering. Hell yeah. But we have so much to go over in the near future. But I have to thanks 
I have to thank Corpse Gristle Records for sending over Flesh Grind Demo Days. I love, you know, brutal death metal demos, and this is a good one. Two good ones, actually. Very highly recommended. And just so you folks can chill, I'm going to listen to some Gasudar and get ready for the review at some point over the weekend. But just so you folks know, here it is. It's in my hand, so chill, okay? You don't need to DM me asking where the review is. It will be here. But, as always, thanks for watching, you fucking rule. Thanks again, Corpse Gristle Records. And, yeah, I love you folks. Keep watching. Stay safe out there. And, yeah. Make sure you put some suntan lotion on. It's pretty brutal outside. But, if you want some brutality inside... Highly recommend blasting some flesh grind demos from Demo Days. And like I said, as always, thanks for watching. You fucking rule. House.